What's up, YouTube? It's been a long time since I made a video. And here is my Thyrotron Tesla magnifier. So I've put the Neon Sign Transformer power supply stuff and Thyrotron inside that toolbox there to the left so you can see it. There's the Thyrotron driver system. I'll do uh, more on, on how that system works. And then here I've got our schematic. We got a Variac controlling a neon sign transformer, half bridge rectified into a 0.1 microfarad uh, storage capacitor. And then from here, this is our high voltage DC. We got a four Henry choke, a 30 kilo ohm, 100 watt resistor, and that charges up our 0 0.028 uh, microfarad tank capacitor. It's resonant with the secondary and primary. And I got a 5C22 Thyrotron switching the tank capacitor there to ground and it's driven by an EG&G TM29 Thyrotron grid driver. And so I got my primary and secondary and then I have it attached to an extra coil there. And so that copper coil is the primary and we got the white, which is the secondary of the system. And it leads to that. And so, yeah, what we can do is show you guys the insides of this thing. In the very bottom toolbox, I just have a the sign transformer, the choke, diodes, all that kind of stuff. Inside here, we can see our actual system. And so there's the EGNG Thyrotron grid driver. And we got our capacitors and the Thyrotron mounted. And yeah, there's a fan. So the fan can actually cool the system off while it's inside. There I have a 0.014 microfarad tank capacitor across the leads that come out and those leads go to the primary. I got it on the fifth turn. This is about 16 microhenries of primary capacitance. And then I have a small trash can wound with uh, gauge 12 THNN wire, nothing special. That's from Home Depot. And then I 3D printed the primary supports. <clears throat> and so what I'll do now is show you the system running. We will try and zoom in. On that sharp point right there. Close our driver system back up. I got it pulsing at 140 hertz. Pulsing the Thyrotron system. So I'm going to turn it up. So we can get about a five inch spark. Just gonna zoom back out. And then 
and I'll show the waveform. And so I have the white coil attached to this ground strap that I've soldered to the copper tubing in the floor. That leads to a 400 foot deep well. And then we turn the system on in voltage we can see this nice beautiful waveform. This thing is extremely hard to tune. And so this is the voltage that's going into the ground. Spread it out, we can really see that waveform, how it turns into kind of a high frequency and it breaks into this lower frequency. And if we just zoom in on that, frequency of the system is around 357 kilohertz. So there's our beginning waveform. We zoom way out, we can see the 140 hertz signal, which is really just a really strong spark discharge going into the ground. And now we're going to do some other experiments.